to an iView Productions first video tutorial. This is a video tutorial on rigging a robotic finger using the finger arc method. With the finger arc method, we can gain a good level of control over the finger that we're rigging simply by selecting the control bone and shrinking it. Initially, in a human finger, you'll have the parts so it's joined together, like so. To apply some weights, we're going to select the object, in this case the finger, shift select the bone, control P, each option in the context menu associated with a number. In this case, we're interested in automatic weights, so I'm going to press 5. Now let's pose it. As you can see, we track back, this bit shrinks. Depends on how close you are to the origin of the joints. Let's see that again in this rig. Control tab, pose mode, and bring it all the way back. As you can see, the joints do not change shape, which is perfect robotic animal creature or hybrid. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I got to this stage. Let's start by pressing Control N. Click that and we are back to our default scene. Let's continue working with the cube. But first, split the area in half and split again one side. I'm going to put this front view, this inside view, and this top view. Let's Move that up slightly. I want to change this. I want to change all windows into also graphic mode. Now we're ready. Let's start by modeling the finger. Press tab to go into edit mode. Shift A. One, two, three, four, five. Six to bring up the cylinder. Move that along the Y axis. Rotate by pressing R. Press Y to rotate along the Y axis and 90 for 90 degrees. Let's select an vertex of the cube. Control L and then Shift D and move it along the Y axis. Control plus or Control L to select the whole object. Shift D plus Y and move it along the Y axis. It'll make it look slightly better. Turn all vertices visible by pressing that icon. Select once and shift select again. And then do the same to the bottom bit. Shift and select again. Or you can go into face select mode and select that face. Add an S to shrink. Then bring it down, make it straight. Select a face. Go into side view again. Make that slightly longer. 
Let's move these along now. Select that. Shift. Select a vertice face of the other one. Go back. And control L. Now move that along. Select the face. This face. Go back into the side view by pressing 3 and pull that along so it's longer than the rest. Add a couple of loops to the joints. Control R. Push that along so it's a bit sharper. Do that again. Control R. Push that along here. Control R. Push that along here. And there you go. Save it. Now let's give each segment a vertex group. Start by deselecting everything by pressing A. Zoom in and select the first part of the finger. Select the vertex, control L, and then go into object data, plus a vertex group. Name it something from structure finger one underscore top. Center now assign. Make sure it's been assigned. Deselect by pressing A and press select. What are we gonna do with the joints? We're going to select the joint, control L, select this segment, control L, and then P, to separate from the rest. Do the same to this segment. Select that, select that, control L, and then P. Separate and press 1. You must do it in this order. For any order you like, but the vertex points must be created while the objects are joined. Where the fragments, segments are joined. The cross are in between the two points. S, then cursor to select it. Now let's rotate this segment. Shift select that vertex and control L. O, o A. And then rotate. Do the same to this. Select that face, go back into side view, shift S, cursor to select it. It's in the middle of all those four points. Now let's change to rotate around the 3D cursor. Select all by pressing A and then rotate. Having this sort of configuration, find bone from finger arc.
Now let's work on the finger roll. We start by pressing Shift A, arm to finger bone. Scale it up a bit. Grab the last point of the bone and move it along this way. E extrude, E extrude. Select this point. Shift S, use it to select it. Shift A, add another bone. Shift S, use it to select it. Select the last bone, point of the bone we created. Shift S, selection to cancel. And extrude once. Select the last the new bone we create and shift select the last bone in the finger roll. Finger roll tab, shift I, add IK to active bone. Now let's now let's move all these bones up to the finger. Tabbing into edit mode for the first fragment. Select this face for these four vertices. Shift S. Cursor to selected. How about edit mode? Going to edit mode for the bones. Select this smaller point. Shift S. Selection to cursor. Select that. Out of edit mode. Back again the middle fragment. Select the two midpoints. Shift S. Cursor to selected. Go to edit mode for the bounds. Shift S. Selection to cursor. Select the midpoint. That shift S, as it is selected. Now select this. Shift S, selection to cursor. Now the last point, select that. Having to edit mode for the object. Select the last four vertices. Select the tip of the finger. Shift S. Cursor to selected. Tab out. Tab into the bone. Tab that selected. Shift S. Selection to cursor. The same to this. Shift S. Selection to cursor. And finally, this. So for that. Selection. Cursor to selected. Selection to cursor. Now that we've got our model to which we're rigging and the bones that we're, that we're rigging with, we have to assign the bones to the model. We start by naming each of these bones. And we'll start we start, we can select all bones, then control N and Y. Just to make sure it's in the right direction. Now, start naming them. To what the vertex, to what we named the vertex of. So this one, for example, finger one, underscore, top. Let's test it. Now, when we shrink the control bone, it moves along quickly without shrinking. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, comment and rate this video.